short because they had a, a pretty long schedule here so I just want to say we should give a lot of thanks to our mentor Mike Arnon, Joe Santolo and John Salvato who actually put me on the road of the Dupree's in 1978 uh, and uh, I'm so proud and happy to be able to be with these two gentlemen they are one of the most talented people. They are the ta most talented people that I've ever worked with. <laughs> so give them a hand too, please. I'm sure they're gonna wanna come up and say something. Okay, but no, you know what? I, I, for, you know what, I wanna give this to that pregnant lady in your group. I mean, that's, that's dedication, don't you think, folks? I mean, I could never do that. Anyway, bye. Oh yeah. LaGuardia Entertainment Lifetime Achievement Award given to the Dupree's in recognition and excellence and a contribution to the American music. Thank you. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Jimmy. Philip, would you like you guys? Uh, I know Tommy said this before, but I also want to thank Michael Arnold the founder of the Dupree's, uh, why I'm in this position right now. He auditioned me 32 years ago, and uh, he taught me all his parts. So I took his place singing all his parts, and believe me, it's a, it was a pleasure. And also, these two guys here are so talented. We've been together so many years, and it's, it's been absolutely a pleasure. And I want to thank someone else too, my wife. She believes in everything I do. She's my sweetheart of my life. So I thank, I thank LaGuardia so much for this reward. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. My Barnone's kids are here. I want to have them come up here. Isabel and Augustus, please come up here. Please say something. We want to thank the Arnone family for allowing us 
to keep this legacy alive. The Dupree's music is too important to let go. Those songs, those records are timeless. Augustus, please say something to this audience. So, um, you know, I, for me, I, um, when I hear the song the Dupree's, it takes me back to being five or six years old. I'm at some state fair, some theater, and it's way past my bedtime, and I can hardly keep my eyes open. But I want to keep my eyes open because on the stage is coming in the still of the night, or will you still love me tomorrow, or you belong to me, and it, it just seemed like magic to me. And as I got older, I realized it actually was magic, but it, was all, it wasn't just magic, it was also hard work. I mean, those groups worked very hard, and I got to know their, their lifestyle, and they traveled long hours, and they were there all day, sound checking, waiting to go on, maybe sometimes 12, one at night. And throughout, throughout my uh, childhood, it seemed like the love for the doo -wop music was gaining momentum and the rock and roll revival was picking up speed. And I think because those groups were working and building it up, um, and I think we know now that music, when it's good, just doesn't have a sell-by date. And I really believe that, uh, you know, 100 years from now, people, there are going to be young groups learning these songs and still singing them because that's what we do with music that we love. So I, I just want to say... Um, I know if my father were here today, this would mean the world to him that the music still means so much to so many people. And I can only say on behalf of my family, it means the world to us. So thank you. I just want to say thank you so much to these wonderful three men who we adore and, and always have. And we're so happy you're still doing this for us and we love every second. Just thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, for the Dupree!